Hello, in this video tutorial I will show you how you can easily create iPad mockups. For this, you first navigate to preview.app where you can find a selection of pre-made iPad mockups that you can use to customize. Everything is done using the mockup generator and you do not need to download any software. Upon landing on this page you can see that you can start creating a 2D or a 3D template. So if your iPad mockup is very geometric or requires text alignment, then do go for a 2D template. And if you want something more fancy, for example, rotations or a 3D angle, then go with a 3D template. Um, in this case, I will be creating a template from scratch as opposed to using something already pre-made, but you do have the option to simply uh, use a pre-made option and um, customize it very very lightly. So to load the blank template I click on this button and it loads the mock-up generator. Everything is done online and uh, the process is simple. Uh, first on the right we see our canvas um, which is the editor and we will drop some object onto it. Since we want to add an iPad mock-up we add the iPad device. You have an option of other devices, but in this particular case, I click on the iPad and it appears on the screen. Um, on the timeline, we have two objects. We have the device and the camera. If we want to edit the device, um, we click on the device layer and start customizing it. We can see we can move it around, position it how we want, we can rotate it, and uh, so on. The first thing we want to do is replace the media. So I already have some templates pre-made, um, pre-made inputs, and I selected this image. You can also input videos as opposed to the image uh, if that is something that you require, for example, to mock up a video with um, an iPad. Okay, um, since it's a 3D tutorial, I also want to change the rotation of the iPad. And uh, in this case, I want to make it uh, face up. Um, so I can see it is actually face down, so I need to uh, invert it. And uh, I think um, this looks good. Um, to rotate the object in the 3D space, uh, you use the camera, you, you have to change the camera angle. So you select the camera layer and just simply drag. Um, we can see how the iPad basically looks in 3D space so that we can position and pick some angle that we like. Next, we notice that uh, it would be good to add some shadows to make it look like it's lying on um, a, some sort of surface and to do that we add the plane. Uh, click on the plane layer and toggle it so that the plane appears. We can see that the uh, iPad is currently uh, too high above the plane so what we can do is we can uh, move the plane a bit further up and uh, uh, the reason we don't see it is because it's above the iPad at the moment. Click on the device and align it onto the plane. So now we can see there is some shadow around our iPad and it makes it look more um, realistic, photorealistic. Um, I think this is good enough for the tutorial. We've covered all the main parts. Uh, click on the camera layer again and zoom in uh, to see the iPad uh, cl closer up. And um, yes, uh, if you do have any questions, do let me know. Um, but I think uh, this is a good point to end the tutorial and I will also um, add a link to the 3D editor where we can go through all templates, um, all options of this 3D editor in more detail. For example, you can add text, you can add custom images, you can change the color of the device, but all of these um, options are pretty straightforward and there's a separate video for it. So to lastly download the iPad, uh, mock-up, click on the download button and uh, export it in the format that you want. In this case, uh, we just want to export a PNG since it's a still mock-up, but there is an option to create an animation, an MP4 and a WebM animation and the video to that is on our channel, how you can create 3D animations as opposed to just um, creating a still mock-up. Hopefully it was useful and you've learned how how to create iPad mockups. Thank you for watching.